toggle social networks and basic services, the population is not sufficiently informed about the operation. The investigation into the living conditions of households started since last February, but it turns out that the majority of households registered in this survey have no idea of the contours of the operation. The only thing whispering between them is that the government wants to give them FCFA 5000 at the end of each month. This is enough for, in the different wards where the operation is taking place, hundreds of Togolese parade a day to get registered. On the morning of the 27th of March, 2023, we came across a crowd in the Akanakpa neighborhood, long lines, each with voters card in hand. Strange, at Inakop, we saw the same scene, that time every person in line has a sheet in hand and some filling out theirs. So we approached and after some information, we realized that it is the survey of the living conditions of the households in 45 neighborhoods of Grand Lome, announced by the government. This is a survey launched by the National Institute for Statistics and Economic and Demographic Studies, in SEED, and started since Monday, the 20th of February, 2023. This investigation is scheduled to end Saturday, the 29th of April, 2023, in the prefectures of Agoe, Naive and the Gulf. The study is part of the deployment of the additional funding activities of the Social Networks and Basic Services Project, FAR FSB, by the National Agency for Basic Development Support, ANADEB. The investigators will collect socio-demographic data and investigate education, health, dietary conditions, housing characteristics, the status of use of durable goods and access to basic social services of targeted households. The operation learned, strangely, 90% of the people present for the recording in the Hanakope district are unaware of the operation. We just learned that there are officers who came to the neighborhood to record the riverbeds, and after the operation, they will come and distribute 5,000 FCFA to us at the end of each month to provide for our needs, confessed a resident. But a look at the sheet shows that it is a consent sheet for the SWIFT Plus investigation and use of personal and telephone data, I signed, authorizes, within the framework of the Social Networks and Basic Services on Additional Funding, FSB FA, project, the collection and processing of my personal data and data collected by telephone operators on my use of mobile telephone and that of my household on whose behalf, I agree. I understand that under no circumstances will the stakeholders of the FSB FA project and those responsible for the data processing share the said personal and telephone data, except a specific legitimate legal requirement by law 2019-014 of the 29th of October, 2019 on the protection of personal data or with revision of my consent, the sheet informs. There are many who sign this paper without understanding what it is exactly about. The goal for the majority is to reach the FCFA 5000. 166 FCFA per day, at the end of the month as they themselves claim, not knowing that beneficiary households will be selected based on the collected data, isn't it the duty of INSEE to do sensitivities in selected wards so households can freely choose whether to register or not, especially when it comes to the collection of personal and telephone data, the turnout in the two districts on Tuesday for registration demonstrates once again the conditions in which the Togolese live, poverty, misery is not only in the north or in the most remote areas of the country, JD.